Hi, welcome back to Air Engine Research. Today's video is going to be different than most of them. Uh, today I'd like to just do some discussion. There's been some comments made recently about how to design the air engine. Uh, the main subject is whether or not you should let the air push completely to the bottom before you open the exhaust valve or whether you should cut it off and open it somewhere before the bottom so that the compressed air inside the cylinder can expand and push further for more efficiency but not necessarily more power. So I'd like to have you give us your opinion, if you would. Of course, the design of the engine is going to matter whether you have room to have a long cylinder and use compressed air to go almost to the bottom and then let it out, or if you can only have a short cylinder. Now my design that I'm working on for my air, compressed air bicycle assist, it has a very short stroke. It's only like just a little bit over an inch. And I don't have room to have long cylinders. And also, I tried using two cylinders on a crankshaft, and they were a fair amount longer. But being two cylinders, it was just too jerky, and it just didn't work very well. So I went back to the original design that I had earlier called an eccentric drive. And I'm going to be using three cylinders, which will give it more speed and also it won't be quite as jerky each time the cylinder got to the bottom there's a short pause before the opposite cylinder takes over and you get a surge so it's, it's just kind of jerky with a three cylinder there's always at least two cylinders that are in the operational mode. So there's no pause or jerkiness to it. Once they start rotating, it's a continuous rotation. Whereas with a two cylinder, it's, it's a down, stop, up, stop, down, stop, up, stop, down, stop, up, stop, which didn't work for me. Also, um, how much pressure do you want to use would make a difference, I suppose. And in my case, I'm going to use a very high, or I should maybe low gear ratio, I guess you would say. The engine is going to turn maybe 15 times to the bicycle wheel turning one time. With the crankshaft uh, engine that I was using with a three inch wheel driving the bicycle wheel, I was getting like an eight to one ratio. Eight times the engine to one time the, the bicycle tire. If you have any other comments about what you think, how the engine should be designed, I'd appreciate that if you chime in and, and let us hear your opinion. And what I want to do then would just be tally up all the different opinions if we get very many and see who kind of agrees with who on how the design should be. So that's basically it for this, this video. I hope you'll give us your opinion and if you are interested in what we're doing I would appreciate it that 
you subscribe and also give me either a thumbs up or thumbs down on what you think uh, of how I'm handling the, the videos and what you think in general of what we're doing. So, till next time then, I hope to hear some interesting comments from you and we'll see you next time. So, goodbye.